What's up, geeks and gamers? Drunk 3PO and... As if you already didn't know. As if you already didn't know that this article... <laughs> I don't know if it's validation or whatever because we all have common sense. You know? The new Star Wars trilogy is worse than the prequels. <laughs> As if we ought to know how bad the Star Wars, the Disney Star Wars trilogy is. Uh, this article comes from CNET and it breaks down uh, some four major things about the different types of Star Wars. Uh, I love it because in the opening, the opening paragraphs here, he talks about how George Lucas always swang for the swang. He swang for the fences. He swung for the fences. And, you know, even though he had some things that didn't work well, such as the character of Jar Jar Binks for many of us, uh, the, the dialogue in the prequels were not good. It, it did bring us some iconic moments like Darth Maul and, uh, and great opening scenes. And so then he kind of like cuts down a couple things that Disney Star Wars is doing wrong. And the first one he talks about is the set design. You know, like like George always wanted big, beautiful sets with amazing new planets and something different visually in every movie. You know, and and he breaks that down as well. He's like uh, the the new Star Wars films; they just recycle planets willy nilly from earlier Star Wars movies. A desert planet, recycled. A forest planet, recycled. A city planet, recycled. So there's nothing new to the imagination. They just gave them different names. Nothing new here desert every every star wars has desert planets everywhere apparently that's just what it was and the prequels it gave us those water i mean just just different visual planets that they that they went on i mean from like the bug planet you know geonosis and and some others like they just he he was always innovative and in, and in doing things like that what i love here is i'm gonna move down he talks about the uh, prequel trilogy being a bloodbath that gives the movie more real tension and he talks about the different types of tension from the prequels to the disney star wars where the character development uh this article writes it says that the new the new films they drag the characters to and fro and they're more concerned with themselves you know and uh and it doesn't really build anything which is in the prequels you're talking about qui-gon jim ignoring the council to teach anakin anakin avenging his mother and, and, and it just brings more attention to the characters, to the film plot, to see what... And, and we even knew what was happening in the prequels. We knew Anakin was turning to Vader. We knew the Empire was going to win. And yet, you know, it's he did it in such a way where mm, we understood the tension in these films and how it all came to pass. And yeah, he talks about um, the no mercy with Darth Sidious and how everyone died <laughs> there was meaningful deaths everywhere and the only ones that we've we known to survive was anakin who turns to darth vader obi-wan kenobi the emperor and yoda everyone else you know pretty much they were taken out you know they were taken out and and that's just how it was he just went off and just everybody was killed not like in Disney where you know the most meaningful deaths in the Disney Star Wars can you guess there's two of them there's two of them that were meaningful I guess you'd say meaningful to make us hate the movies even more Han Solo and Luke Skywalker which was probably the stupidest death in a Star Wars I've ever seen he OD'd on the force uh, that, that was so cool you know we put that right in line with the other amazing... No, we don't. We don't. It was the stupidest thing I have ever seen in a Star Wars film. Um, stupidest thing. And yeah, like we, we understood the characters in the prequels. Not like like Supreme Leader Snooki. You know, who was that? No backstory? No nothing? Maybe we'll get some in the next film. I don't know. But it's just kind of like... Okay. He's here today and, and gone tomorrow. So... I mean that's that's just it. The the climax of the characters being killed in the Disney sequels were not really a climax. It's almost as if yeah, you might as well get it over with because we know you're gonna kill them off. You know we know you're gonna kill them off, so why not? 
uh it, it's just it's just crazy so he, he goes here and he talks about the last jedi <laughs> he talks about star wars tension building he and he goes on and he says did a 250 million dollar production just begin with a three minute lead up to a yamama joke <laughs> that was the tension build what's gonna happen is poe gonna make it he gives us a mama joke you know, and he calls him Commander Hugs. Ah, oh, that's that's great. That's great. Oh, how many people raise your hand if you knew the last Jedi was in trouble <laughs> when you heard the Mama Joe? <laughs> Were you kind of like, um, this is not going the way? <laughs> All I could do is laugh at this. At this, folks. All I could do is laugh. I will always take. Bad dialogue and incredible moments of the prequels over a Star Wars trilogy that has neither. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. Anyway, all I'm saying is, is that more and more of these type of articles and statements and everything else are starting to come out from different members of the media. Oh my goodness, we just saw articles coming out from the LA Times on how to fix Galaxy's Edge. Basically, uh, Star Wars is getting it from everybody at this point. They're like, you know, maybe if y'all did this, maybe if y'all did this, maybe if y'all did this. And listen, the other Star Wars films are not, you know, above certain criticism. The point is, I can still enjoy those films. No matter what you think of the prequels, no matter what you think of the original trilogy, uh, which many of them are masterpiece, I can still enjoy them. I can still enjoy them through all their flaws. I can still understand what's going on. And yeah, in my mind, is it cool to have dialogue with my friends on how maybe me personally would have done things a little differently? Of course. But it doesn't mean I still uh, don't enjoy these films. Yeah, the Disney, after like Bob Iger's book about how George Lucas was feeling betrayed, how, how and, and reading all these comparisons, you're just kind of like, I, I, the more I read them, it's like the less I enjoy these films. And now it seems like they're like throwing out comic books to try to repair the damage that these films are made, like to try to like repair some of the damage. You know, I don't know if you heard, but in the comic books, they show Leia hugging Chewbacca first, which they totally missed in The Force Awakens. In the comic books they're releasing now, they bring back Admiral Akbar's son to give him like a proper, you know, uh, goodbye to talk about how great Admiral Akbar been because Brian Johnson just blew him out of the, the sky without nothing. Without nothing, because he thought Akbar was just a meme. He's just a meme character. Nobody cares about him. Yeah. Yeah. And and so they're trying to do all this damage control, and it's just like, and now more and more people are coming out saying, uh, yeah, you know, you need to slow down and rethink what you're doing here because it's it's not star wars anyway guys that's the video this drunk 3po with geeks and gamers let me know what you think in the comments below let me know what you think um are are more and more people finally like coming to the light are they coming to the light uh or or what are we just gonna have this type of star wars forever anyway let me know in the comments below i love to read the comments so i'll catch you next time Hey everyone, it's Jeremy from GeeksAndGamers.com, and if you're a fan of Geeks and Gamers, please go to our website, visit our merchandise store. We have t-shirts, hoodies, hats, beanies, tank tops, and in the very near future, we're going to have many more products for you to choose from. So thank you for the support. We appreciate it. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.